What's up, Sagittarius? Kings, queens, and everything in between. I am Austria of a Mother Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury in regards to love for a general versus message for the 11th to the 17th. Please keep in mind that this time frame is only for me, so, um, so whenever you see this message, that's when you're meant to see it. Brain fart, my bad. All right, so we have, this could be the one here. It says you already met the romantic partner that you seek. Some of you guys are in separation from this person, um, though, um, that you're going back and forth with. Um, you could also have children with this person. Um, I have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level commitment. Okay. So whatever that looks like to you, that is um, where you guys are moving with this person. All right, we also have calling in your soulmate. In the reverse, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. Some of you are going back and forth with yourself. You do not know if this person that you're in some sort of commitment with is your soulmate, um, which is probably why I got the fact that you were in separation from this person. Um, it's like for a lot of you, you could be dealing with um, two or more people. We have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest um, the highest energy of all. And we have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So it's definitely a sense of being present here. I'm also getting some of you guys aren't really that much interested in moving up into a higher level commitment um, with someone right now. A lot of you aren't. All right, Spirit, give me the intent, the challenge, and the action here for Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Okay. Too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. Give me the intent, challenge, and action for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, and their person here. Neutral energy, please. Neutral energy. Thank you. All right. So we have intimate date. We have attraction. And we have love strike. Yeah. And then we have gift at the bottom and shadow work. So some of you guys are definitely needing to um, deal with some shadow work here. We also have karmic love. This love is too painful to keep holding on to. So some of you guys could have made the effort with the karmic love in the past and you guys are needing to do some shadow work to get um, to get over that energy um, so that you can have um, a greater sense of love in your present moments here is what I'm getting. We have intimate data. So let's go out and have a drink or two and have a little fun. So that's the overall intention right now is kind of to enjoy um your moments that you have right now with someone um, that you are possibly moving into a higher level commitment with now. But the challenge is attraction, which this is the second time we've seen attraction now because we just saw it in the other deck. And it says, you're, you're so beautiful, I get butterflies when I see you. And this is the challenge because if you see it's three um, different type of individuals right there. So that gives you that sense of that multiple um, that two or more people, right? So some of you guys are dealing with multiple people and or you're not wanting to settle down and that's your challenge is to get in a place where you're on the same page with this person that could possibly be the one. All right, we have Love Strike. I've been um, I've been swept off my feet, random, unexpected, amazing. Some of you guys are feeling some sort of love um, connection with this person or this is the this person's energy towards you. All right, give me the why here, Spirit. Give me the why. Thank you. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury here. Thank you. All right, we have soulmate here. We have rejection. And we have superficiality. Okay. And then we have compromise here and contemplation. And compromise, it says, let's find a way to compromise instead of giving up on us. But you see this triangle with the three here? Right. And after that, it's separation and then it's sex behind it. So like you get caught up in a certain situation or your person does that causes some sort of separation here. And it's like you're going back and forth with yourself if you feel like you really want to be um, tied down to only one person is what I'm getting. 
like i said with the this could be the one the soulmate connection here it says you are my soulmate a dream come true and this is the person that you're dealing with right now and deciding to move forward with We also have rejection here. It says your rejection has been a catalyst for change. So I'm getting that a lot of you guys could feel like um, this third party situation. Maybe you were rejected from it or you were in a place where you, let's see. You're feeling like you're needing to reject the thought of being in multiple um, relationships at one time and maybe stop cheating and stuff like this. Because this third party situation seems like some shit that's overall ongoing this is something that you're trying to reject all right we also have superficiality here it says it's easier to be superficial and be accepted by society some of you are feeling like the only reason that you wanted to be in a relationship or this could be your person's energy is because that's what you should do in the situation that you're in. It's like that's what society expects of you to be with this person or be with this type of person. Some of you could be in a situation where this is your child's parent. And some of you also, and I just heard this, you guys date multiple people because of fear of rejection here, or this is your person's energy, and this is why they're doing the things that they do. All right, what's the intent here? What's the intent? What's the intent? The intent for Sagittarius, this person. What's the intent for Sagittarius' this person? What's the intent? All right, we have death here. And that's Scorpio's energy. We also have the Five of Swords as well as the Knight of Cups. This person is deciding to end the cycle here. With um, the death card here, someone is wanting to end some sort of cycle that continuously goes on. Um, they're also wanting some sort of second chance. This person is trying to transform things here. This person could be wanting your forgiveness for something that happened in the past here and wanting to offer their um, cup to you. Um, this again is Scorpio's energy with the Knight of Cups as well as Libra's energy here. This person could possibly be wanting to come towards you in some sort of romantic um, space, being very emotionally vulnerable. For some of you, I'm getting that it's the complete opposite and this person is stopping being emotionally vulnerable with you because of um, some some mm, something negative that happened in the past, possibly some sort of cheating or something like that. That's only for a small few. Yeah, some sort of toxicness here with the devil card, Capricorn energy, with the judgment card here. But it looks like this person is trying to move forward past this trying to step out of this space of making bad choices due to fear um which is like what i was saying with this rejection and attraction energy someone feeling like they need to do this because um of some sort of how you say that all right Because it's like some deep-seated issue here, like a, a fear of getting hurt or something like that. So it's like if you always have somebody on a roster, then how are you going to get hurt? You're feeling you have, you know, other people that you also have feelings for that are all around. It's no way that this person's going to hurt you. We have the Page of Pentacles here. And this is um, uh, Earth Energy. So you could be dealing with a uh, Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo with the high priestess here and the four of cups all right so a lot of you guys could be in a place where you're kind of deciding that it's best if you actually put forth effort towards this um towards this particular individual and you're going back and forth in your head with this a lot um but you're feeling like 
it's like a sense of wisdom of trying to be in a place where you're refusing all other offers and dealing with this person in particular because you want something stable with this person you want to be able to build something with this person yeah it's like and you were not going anywhere with being immature and hasty in the past with this page of wands with the eight of wands and the reverse it's like nothing was happening here you know being this way so you're trying to you know move from that place and being in a place of new beginnings here okay a lot of you guys are really thinking about what you want during this time as well a lot of you guys are taking a personal time out to kind of self-reflect to make sure that you really want to offer this person something stable. But like I said, it's definitely that energy. Like someone here is feeling like, you know, maybe this high level commitment isn't what I want. All right. What's the challenge here for Sagittarius, this person? All right. We have Justice here, which is Libra's energy. All right. We also have the Five of Wands here. And we have the full card, Aquarius, Aries energy. All right, so for a lot of you, you may be dealing with someone that is feeling like they're getting back at you, you know, for the times in which you could have possibly cheated on them or put them on the, um, in a third party situation, they are balancing the scales. It's like they're becoming karma for you. And it's like only in that point that they feel like they can be able to really move on with you. Yeah, because they feel like, yeah, it's like if you want to end a cycle here, you have to start anew. Because it's like the world card here, the world card to the ace, I'm sorry, to the magician card, Aries, Gemini, Energy, and the Seven of Wands. This person is very, um, in a place where they are very defensive here. You know, um, they are putting out a lot of confidence towards you. They're showing a sense of resilience, but it's like, it's because of all of these things that happened in the past. So they're trying to be in a place where um, they want shit to be balanced out. So however you made them feel in the past, that's what they're trying to give back to you. And they do want a new beginning with you, but they don't feel like that can really happen without you feeling what they felt for a lot of you. For others, it's like a sense of they 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 found something out. They they found out you were doing something on the side, and they are figuring out what they're gonna do to get back at you at this point. Okay. All right, spirit. Why don't give me Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury? What is their challenge? You're in denial about something. Pisces energy here. Your card here with the temperance card. And then we see. Hmm. The full card again. Aries, um, Aquarius energy, Sagittarius energy, and Pisces energy. This is all about divine. Uh, yeah, so. Yeah, some type of separation here is going to bring you victory. Um, and this could be a separation from a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But this is going to bring you some sort of victory here. It's going to be painful, though. It's going to be painful. And it looks like for a very long time, you're in a place of denying something. Denying someone's progression or denying uh, that things were happening a certain way. Some of you guys feel like you can't forgive someone for the things that they did and you can't really start over with this person. Um, yeah, it's like you're struggling to forgive someone in order to have a new beginning with them. Or in order to move forward with them. Yeah. It's like you're not really wanting to take a risk again with this person. All right, Spirit, go ahead and give me the actions here of Sagittarius, this person. Sun, okay, no. Go ahead and give me the actions here of Sagittarius, person. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury, please. All right. 
we have the Ace of Pentacles here. So they're wanting to come towards you and offer you something stable here. They're wanting to definitely invest in you. With the Page of Wands in the reverse here, they could possibly not be talking to you about this or being upfront with you. And I'm also getting that this is a mixture of two different people for a lot of you. So you guys take this as it resonates because I, you know, um, I can only do the energy that I'm given. And I'm, but I'm getting two separate energies here. All right, so with the Ace of Pentacles, this person is wanting to come towards you and offer you something stable here. They are wanting to, you know, kind of plan it out. Um, it's in a place of manifestation. <laughs> manifesting at this point but they cannot be talking to you about this for some of them for some of them they're not telling you exactly what they want to do here um and some of them are kind of dragging their feet to bring this towards you because they're nervous about how you're going to react to it yeah with the king of pentacles with the three of swords they hurt you in the past here they disappointed you but now they're wanting to offer you some sort of stability here and that's leo's energy as well as Virgos there. All right. All right. What's the actions here for Sagittarius, this person? What's the actions here for Sagittarius? Oh, I'm so sorry. Here's like, no, not Sagittarius, this person. All right. Okay. Just like pick those up. That's not what you want. All right, but it looks like this person could have possibly put you in competition with someone else, and it had you um, feeling neglected or something like this. I'm also getting at this person. Um, you could have definitely separated from this person recently, and yeah. All right. All right, so you're confused. You're confused about this person and if this person really cares about you or where to go with this person. So right now you're in a place of kind of passivity. You're waiting to see what's going to take place. You know, you're thinking, you're, you know, you're thinking about it a lot. It, it may even have been a bit of conflict here, but you're waiting to see if this person shows you how they feel or not because you do have a lot of love for this person, but you're very confused to how this person feels. So you're kind of just playing it by ear. Queen of Wands here, um, Pisces, Aries, Energy, and the Three of Swords. Someone definitely really hurt you. Yeah, they really hurt you, and they could have acted like they did nothing at all. But something was revealed to you, and it was really painful and really disappointing. Could have been one of Pisces or an Aries here. All right, Spirit, show me the signs that Sagittarius is dealing with during this time. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. We have Pisces here. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mercury. All right, we have Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. We have Cancer. And we have Uranus, Aquarius, Energy, as well as Mars, Aries, Energy. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I send it back to you guys tenfold. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.